John with the Chimney Chap and South Shore Fireplace. Today, we're going to go over how to relight your pilot in the event that it blows out on you. All right, so what we're looking at right here is a sit valve. What we're going to need to locate first is this knob over here on the right-hand side. It's going to have off, pilot, and on written on it. You're going to need to look for the white tick mark located right over here, and that shows you what position this knob is in. This is how you will find it in the on position. In order to relight the pilot, you need to rotate this knob so that pilot is facing the white tick mark. It is locked in each one of these positions. In order to unlock it, just gently push in a little, and then go ahead and rotate over to pilot. I always like to give it a little extra wiggle to make sure we are indeed locked into that position. Now it's just a simple matter of depressing this knob. We depress it down all the way, and we hit our igniter a few times. Only took one strike that time, and we can see that we do have a lit pilot in the back right there. Now, the tricky part that most people don't know about is in order to keep the pilot lit, you still have to depress that knob down. And you've got to hold it there for about 20 to 30 seconds. This is so that the sensor attached to your pilot assembly can tell that there is a flame there and it's safe to continue running the system. So we're going to go ahead and back our finger off right now and then visually confirm that our pilot is still lit. Okay, now we've got our pilot sustained, so the last step is to take this knob and put it back in the on position. So once again, we will slightly depress the knob so that we unlock it, rotate over into the on position, and then just again give it a little wiggle to make sure that we are indeed locked in that position.